everyone. Welcome back to Nan's Global Kitchen. We are here today with one of her granddaughters, Freya. Hi. Uh, and technically, I am one of her granddaughters. I am her eldest granddaughter, Maya. I'm the one who edits and films all of her videos here. Today, we are going to be making a pop and cookin sushi candy kit. These are very popular DIY candy kits from Japan. Uh, this is, again, the sushi kit, but they also have ones like waffles or like ramen. So we're gonna go ahead and make this kit today. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, there's three kinds of sushi you can make. It has like egg, tuna, and then salmon roe. The instructions are, again, this is candy. It's not actual sushi. This is just like grape flavored candy. Um, they have the instructions right here in English on how to make the rice, the, the tuna, the omelet, and the salmon roe, and also how to assemble it right here. Okay, ready to open it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna open it. It's just like a, it's like an easy tear box. Here, you wanna try? Sorry. I can't get it open. Let's try. Oh, okay. Let's get the other side open too. Yeah. Okay, oh, there we go. Um, what's really cool about the packaging for these pop and cooking candies is that look, it has like an actual like sushi board right here that you can use, and then this is like a guideline for the uh, the seaweed part of the candy. Yeah, it is something interesting for kids to do. And they also have the different sushis here as well. Okay, so we're gonna cut this open. I'm also gonna cut out the little area here for the, um, it's to make like the seaweed part of it. Um, okay. Let's see, let's cut this open here. Okay, set that aside. And then we're gonna do the other side as well. Then I'll just go ahead and cut the actual sushi mat out. We have our own serving plate, but I'm still gonna just do it anyway. Ooh, look at that! Okay, so it's very similar to how the kits look from the original Japanese version. Um, Cause I actually did make the original Japanese version at one point. It has different packets. See all the packets fry? Mm -hmm. Has the rice candy powder. It has the salmon row A and, let's see, is this focusing? Salmon roe A and B powder. It has the tuna and omelet powder. Uh, the soy sauce, there we are, soy sauce candy powder. It has a little mixing spoon. A dropper to make the actual salmon roe. And then, ooh, oh, there it goes. And then the actual like uh, hard candy piece. It's kind of like fondant is the best way I describe it for the actual seaweed part of the candy kit. This is like the little cutout for it. Again, this is like the sushi mat. And this is the actual section to form out the seaweed. Okay, you ready to make it, Freya? Yeah. All right, let's get everything ready, shall we? Yes. Now the actual candy kit, like the insides of it, it still has like some stuff in Japanese. But this section right here is to put water in for when you're mixing things, because you do need to just fill the droppers up or like filter certain lines. It's just easier than trying to pour water into it. But it has the section here for the tuna, the omelet, the rice, uh, and then the A and B for the salmon roe. We're gonna go ahead and fill it with water right now. I have the bottle of water right here and I'll just fill it in the little water section, like so. And then we'll be ready to make the rice, which is the first thing we're gonna make here for the candy kit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna make the rice candy, uh, we're gonna make the rice candy. Okay, let's just get everything all to one side, right? Yeah. All right, so that's all ready. I'm just gonna pour the water in here for Freya so she can make the rice. So you take the dropper of water. Here, I'll, I'll measure it for you, babe. And then you just gotta fill the water up to the little perforation here. It's like just a full oval, I think it says. Yeah, fill the oval depression with the water. And I do like how they have the little water section now in the newer kits. Like the newer variants of the kits, it just makes things way easier, I think, right? Yes. All right. Oh, we're out of water. Okay, let me pour some more in. See, that was, it's just easier though, I think, in my opinion. Okay, I'll just add some more water into it just so it's easier and we don't run out very quickly. All right, we should be almost full of water. There we are. Yeah. All right. We're going to put that aside for now. And then we're going to make, oh, we're going to make this. So I'm going to let her do it. 
I'm just gonna cut the packet open because I'm the only one that can be trusted with scissors. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She's a very good kid. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pour in the rice candy now. We're gonna pour it all into there. And then make sure you mix it well, babe, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, mix it well, mix it well. Whoa, careful, let's not let it spill, okay? Oh yeah. Ah, oh no, okay. It's, we're okay, we're okay, let's just let it stir. Okay, so we're gonna be making the omelet now, which is gonna be this yellow packet. Right, oh, oh okay, there we go, right here. And again, I'm gonna let Freya mix it, so I just need to pour in the water first. Okay, let's see. Let's get the water in. And it goes into this pouch. See how it looks like little spirals of eggs? You know how they make the square omelets, babe? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a design for it. Yeah, so it actually looks like it has texture, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that filled up to the line? Mm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm going to let her mix this in now. Let her rinse this. You don't have to rinse that now, babe. Okay. Let's see. Let us use this. Ah, it's so tricky to open. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ooh, this one smells good. Mmm, kind of smells like banana, banana y mango. Banana mango? Banana mango lemon. Kind of, which makes sense, right? Because it's yellow. <laughs> it's grape. Oh, oh, there's still some more powder. Let's get that all in. Okay, mix, mix, mix. Okay, uh, the omelet's mixed. We do have to let that sit now for three minutes, as it says. It's kind of like a gelatin, if uh, you guys have ever made gelatin. Okay, we're gonna mix the salmon now while we're waiting. We're also gonna let that sit, but it's while we are waiting for the omelet. Okay, so let's put the water into there. I think we're gonna need some more water pretty soon. Yeah, we will need some more water. Okay, I'm just a little more water. Is that it? Nope, we need a little yeah. more. All right, uh, let's put a little drop more of the water. Good. See? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Alright, we're gonna use this packet now, which is the tuna- Ooh, oh geez, okay. The tuna candy. Alright, let's cut that open, and then we're gonna mix, mix, mix. Okay, we're gonna just pour it all it smells in. Smells like raspberry. You're right, kind of small raspberry. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, mix, mix, mix. Mm -hmm. So while this is setting, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right up here. So that's the rice, the omelet, and the salmon. Okay, we're gonna let that set. Um, just to set. I'm actually going to- actually no, wait, we'll do that after. Okay, we're gonna put that there. We're gonna make the, uh, the seaweed part. I want to help you with this one, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna stretch out the seaweed. It's like this licorice kind of fondant texture. Okay, we're gonna pop that out there. Okay, I will show you guys what this looks like. It's again, a very- it's like- it's like fondant or licorice is the best way I can describe it. It's- it does smell a bit like licorice, like grape flavor, not licorice, like the actual bitter flavor, but that's like the best way I can describe it, or some kind of other soft candy. Okay, we're gonna press- High chews. High chews? Yeah, maybe yeah, like kind of like the high chews, maybe. Okay, we're gonna stretch this out. We wanna make sure that it's not too thin and it's not too thick in areas. Isn't that really cool, Freya? Yeah. 
it's fu- it's it's fun because it it does look like the actual can like the actual food it's supposed to represent. These kits are a lot of fun. I do love making these kits. Okay, that is let's see, that is made. It's kind of mm-hmm. it's kind of lumpy. We're gonna just smooth it out a bit, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this has to go a bit more. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, we're going to set this aside because we're going to make the salmon row now and then mostly everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then we just have to assemble. Then we do have to assemble and I'll help you with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so bringing back this whole thing, we're going to make the salmon row now that has two pieces, that has two parts to it. So let's see. Um, Okay. Okay, cool. Let's just take the water that we have in here, right? Mm-hmm. Just filling up A with water, because that's going to be the solution to put it in. We're going to make the salmon roe, like as I said before. So most of the water goes into A, we're almost full. Okay, like that, then I just need the water for B as well. We just need a little dropper full, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. That should be good enough. Yep. Okay. Okay, there we go. Is that up? Okay. You ready, babe? Mm-hmm. He's like a drop. Like a little drop. Okay. All right. So, I will help you with this one, okay? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to take packet A, and we're going to put it into section A. Okay. Section A goes into here. And then, section B will go in, obviously, into B. Alright. Cool. Now, this one's actually really cool, because kind of like how the magic happens to make the salmon row. All right, let's mix these together. Uh, let's do this one first. Yeah. Okay, so you just gotta mix them together like that. This is very bright orange. It's a very saturated orange, which makes it perfect for salmon row. Okay, and this should not jelly like the other ones. Yeah, it's not getting jelly like the other ones. Okay. And then we're gonna just mix up the water solution for this one. It's also for the salmon row, as I said before. But again, this is kind of like where the magic happens. You ready to see this one, Frey? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, making sure it's all dissolved. It's almost all dissolved, right? Yeah. At least I'm on the side. Yeah, I'm just seeing how much is like, so we can just do it together. Perfect. All right, T. We don't need the, let's put the spoon right there. So to make the salmon roll, this one is really cool, as I said before. Okay, so we're gonna take a dropper full of the solution from B, and we're going to slowly drop it in to A, and it forms like these little balls for the salmon which is very cool to see because it it looks like it's actually forming. Like, see, like a little row? Isn't that cool, Frey? Yeah. They're so small. They're tiny. They're little salmons. It's like we're making salmon. <laughs> well, we are making sushi, right? Mm-hmm. And like how much, it makes so much of it too. Oh. That's fine. That didn't come out bad. Okay, I'll set that aside. And now we're ready to assemble for the assembly part. And this is easy. We just have to cut, see, you can cut this in half right here with the egg. 
There's like a little perforation line. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. All right, I will help her assemble this. So let's get that started. All right, so we're gonna be making the assembly. She'll help me with the toppings. I just wanna form up the little like rice balls for you. Okay. So here's our first rice ball. It's very tiny, as you guys can tell. Let's make this one the row one, all right? Okay. Let's see, um, is this gonna be long enough? Ah, okay, let me just flatten this out a bit more because it's not long enough, see? Well, it has to be very long. Yeah, it's just kind of like a rough guideline, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna flatten this out a bit. We don't have to do it too perfect. Okay. Oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, so, ah, come on, stick together. Okay, it's kind of like that. Okay, then we can push the rice down just so we can put the top the row on it after. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put that on our plate because we do have a little serving plate right here for our sushi. So that's one made. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the other ones now and then she can help me with this. We put the fish on top of it and the omelet. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna form a rice ball. They don't really have a guideline for the um the uh what's it called the rice so we're just gonna eyeball it a bit all right cool what if we fold like actual rice oh yeah that probably will work right okay okay see perfect they're kind of lumpy but that's okay right yeah no, it's nothing's not, perfect nothing is perfect you're right it's tiny this will be the tiniest one yeah baby baby okay you ready to put the little toppings on mm -hmm. okay here Okay, make sure you flip it over where it's like it has like little designs on. Oh no! Oh, it's very hard. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got the spoon. I got the spoon. Okay. Let's. Oh, there it is. It's so cute. Okay, let's do the other ones. <laughs> there is another. The omelet now? Yep. Okay, the mm -hmm. other omelet. <laughs> yeah, it's falling. It's okay, I've got it. We've, we, we're saving it, okay? We're saving it. We're saving it. Okay, we're gonna all put these onto the plate. Now, and then we're gonna assemble the row one, okay? Yep. We gotta put the actual salmon row onto the row one. Okay. So that is the sushi itself. Now we're gonna top. Oh my god, that is so cool. Yeah, this actually looks like salmon roe, which is so awesome. Oh, it's not gonna focus. Okay, which is so cool. All right, let's put that on top like that. Oh, that's cool! Okay. We're gonna make the soy sauce now too, okay? Yeah. You should grab a little cup for it. Uh, it has like a little indentation on the plate. But yeah, just to put it like on the plate. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, cool. Let's go find a little cup. side cup. I wonder what those taste like. I wonder if they actually like pop in your mouth like real salmon roe. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't mind if some spills out too because it looks more fancy. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay, babe. move that into place okay cool okay let's get this little cup for the soy sauce now okay so that is we have a little water measured out here for the soy sauce so we're just going to pour that in now and we're gonna mix it i wonder if it actually okay it doesn't smell like soy sauce that's good. probably a good thing yeah i would not like okay 
Soy sauce that's, with my candy. Yeah, that's that, gross. and then we're just gonna mix this together like everything else. But it actually will look like soy sauce, like really dark soy sauce, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that's so okay, cute. Okay, let's just hold this and mix it like that. Okay, and then we can go ahead and try it after. That's all mixed. Oh I'm my so gosh, excited. it's so exciting. Okay, this is adorable. All right. <clears throat> okay, do you want to do the honors? And oh, Let's just show the plate first, right? Yes. Okay, this is the plate of candy sushi. It does look like realistic sushi, which is like really cool and awesome. Has the, has the salmon roe, it has tuna, and it has the omelet ones, and then it has our little cup of soy sauce. Okay, do you want to do the honors for you and try it? Sure. Okay, pick one and try it. Hmm. Decisions, um, decisions. You're gonna try that one. Actually, I'm gonna try this one. Okay, be careful when you're dipping it. Or do you do you want me to put some soy sauce on it for you? Sure. Okay, just because it could be a little messy. Oh, my, it even like goes into the like the actual thing, right? Like sushi. Oh, a little bit. That's fine. Oh, it, it even colors the um, the rice. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and try it. Oh, it makes it so wet. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh, mm. how, how was it? It's good. Is it good? What does it taste like? I don't know how to describe it. It almost tastes like strawberry, raspberry, sweet tarts. Sweet tarts? Yeah. Or? Does, it, does, does the soy sauce taste like anything? It's hard to tell. It kind of just... Okay. It's hard to tell. It just tastes like... Sweet goodness. Sweet goodness? It's just amazing. Well, was this fun to do? Yes, it was. Did you was. enjoy doing it with your, with your Didi? Yes, it was very fun. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Again, this is just a little thing that we decided to do. Both of Nan's granddaughters. Oh, this was awesome, okay? Thank you again so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you have not already because Nan makes a bunch of awesome recipes and I'm the person who films it for her and uploads it onto YouTube. All right, again, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Love you guys. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Wanna say bye, Frey? Bye. Wait, gotta wave like, you gotta wave like this. There you go.